Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial number 6. Uh, today we're going to see the, the build mode. So here I'm in quite an empty space and to open the build mode I can go in Control B on my keyboard so that opens the build mode. Or I could have used the write down menu here using the little key. Ok, so what we can see here is that we can create a clone edit remove object that those objects can be created using a snap mode, that means some kind of magnetic grid or freely, like this that we can scale our object by hand or we can scale it using the mouse scroll or you can use also you can find here in this question mark some very useful key meanings so for example Z, Control Z, Control Y if you want to end the redo or things like Control plus mouse wheel or Q Shift plus mouse wheel we'll go through those but take time to watch at those key meanings they are very useful so we can see that we can create some objects like for example a cube um, that we can add some materials on it so let's say some grey bricks and that we can add some physics to our object that means that there will be some rigid body and that we can create functionalities and we will see this a little later so first let's create some cube in the free mode ok here now let's jump to edit mode click on our object so now we can move our object we can with Control shift or alt transform our object like this ok we can see here on the top there is a little grey menu so you, we can give a name to our object like wall 1 and we can also delete our object we can go back to uh, a state before so let's say like translated D this means I have moved my object so it put it back in place so we can move our objects in the world space or local space and we can change from translate to rotate to scale you can see that things are changing here on the screen let's move our object ok so let's go back to normal position back to translate you can move from back to rotation to translate you know using those key meanings here so let's remove our object files like this and create a nice neat new one ok we go in edit mode we have our object and now we're going to try to create first some clones of this object but in free mode it's not easy so let's jump to snap mode and you can see that now it's much easier to create some little wall for example let's move a little and let's do like this ok so let's go and edit Good. now if I want my wall to be in one group so when I click on it I move it as one piece I use control and select all the pieces of my wall then on the top here grey bar when group give a name like wall one group and press enter and now if I go here in tools scene to open this structure I should see here a group named wall one group containing the seven cubes and I can close this now if I click here in select groups if I don't I can select pieces one by one but if I select this I can now when I click on my object select all the pieces all by one okay good so what else can we see yeah we can see that create physics is activated so that means that my avatar when he will walk in our wall, he will bump on it. 
and it can't go through at, as it's blocked with the rigid body. Also we see that we can create some functionalities. So for that let's create some new cube in a free mode like here for example and then go in edit select my cube move it a little maybe change its scale to something like we can scroll it like this and maybe the dead axis is a bit too big so let's make it lower like 0.1 0.2 would be good okay 0.2 and then with our object selected we're gonna click on web browser so we see that I've already put Google as a URL so we see that we have now a web page if I close this and close the build mode with control B I can now see that in our web page I can write inside the search bar for example image press enter and I see that now I can navigate through Google so and go in several kind of pages that are in Google like maps you know or anything okay so also let's go back in build mode so control B also on edit mode I could have put a media player also in, inside so that means that I put some content inside my, in my storage or inside uh, a storage on the internet and then I can put different different kind of medias like music videos and then decide if it's only audio or if it's loaded automatically when it starts or if it's on loop playback and on which sub mesh of the object you will add your your content so you could have several materials on your objects if you have subdivide your UVs so this is why you can choose between different targets on on your object so let's close this media player because you can't have the both at the same time so right click here say remove and we only have now the web browser on on our object okay so i think we've done about the build mode and last thing you could see is that you can now remove your object using this remove tool like this you were not to delete the ground or you would fall okay so this is it for today see you very soon for the next tutorial